Hear how artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, and Epicor's new virtual agent, Ava, can now enable manufacturing companies to see around the corner and anticipate problems humans just could not have detected. At Epicor's user conference in April 2019, Hamanchu, Epicor's chief product and technology officer, and Scott, Epicor's SVP product marketing, share a story about how Ava can do the following. Spot an anomaly on a production machine with Internet of Things sensors, send an alert to your mobile, schedule preventative maintenance, shift production to other available machines, all so that you avoid unplanned downtime from your mobile phone. Here they are delivering this amazing story at our user conference. So, with IoT and that power in the cloud, and the sensor networks that are on the shop floor, we can actually train models to help manufacturers see around corners. And it's going to correlate some data and detect some patterns that would be very difficult for a human analyst to discover. All right? So everything looks pretty much in order as we are here. But Eva is working in the background. And she's going to detect something that's a little out of the ordinary. And she's going to let me know about it. She's going to find an anomaly. Exactly. Now, I might be out here on the shop floor. Yeah. And so uh, she would need to get a hold of me on my mobile device. Okay. Right? So if she detects using that artificial intelligence that something's going to go a little bit awry, she would notify me on my mobile device. So if we can pull that up here, what we'll see on my mobile is that she sent Live me mobile demo. an alert. Yeah. All right. Exactly. This production anomaly detected on robot line six. And you can see here, it's quite a visual alert. It's not just simple text. I can see something about it. It's well formatted. I know it's robot line six. And she's given me some options, right? She's given me some next best actions. We don't know exactly what's wrong, but we know there is a situation happening on line six. Exactly right. Yeah. And it's, it's not a pattern that's normal. So she's, she's uh, said that's an anomaly. So the next best actions here are schedule maintenance, uh, get into more status, or ignore it. Or just ignore it. Now, I know that I have capacity, so it's probably a good time to schedule maintenance. So I'll click that. And she'll say, well, when should the maintenance be scheduled? Now or later? Again, got the capacity. Let's do it now. But Eva's also situationally aware. So she knows what I just requested and that it's going to have an impact on the jobs that were scheduled on robot yep. line six, yep. right? So she says, there are jobs scheduled for this maintenance period. Would you like me to reschedule them? Well, yes, I would. So I ask her to reschedule them. And she says, OK, I've scheduled the maintenance and rescheduled the jobs. Now, could it be that easy? Let's go find out. Let's take a look. So back here at the MES screen, I go back into job scheduling. And I refresh the screen. And what I'll see is that she has, in wow. fact, scheduled that maintenance job on robot line six and rescheduled the other jobs. Now, how did she know how to do all that? Well, she taps into existing global scheduling logic that's already a part of Epicor ERP. She just did it on my command. She notified me. I took action. She did it. And now we've got scheduled maintenance job, and we have the other jobs scheduled for the rest of uh, assembly line 7. And then what I'll see in uh, just a while here on the assembly line screen is that that job that uh, would have been done on line six is now pending an action to be taken by a maintenance technician. Fantastic. So what we've got is a newly redesigned uh, MES screen. We have Epicor IoT for real-time vision into what's going on, and AI to look ahead and detect things that might go wrong in the future. Sit situationally aware, in context, and frictionless. We're not doing technology for the sake of technology. We are prompting it where it matters, saving hours and time. Exactly right.